Hi, I'm Jim Sharton, the director of tennis at the club, and this is Daisy. And we're here to give you a helpful tennis tip to make you a better tennis player now and in the future. I say now, well, you, I know you can't get on the court right now, but it doesn't matter. We're confined here physically, but we're not confined here mentally. And this is what we're going to talk about today. Our topic is visualization. All right, I'm going to let Daisy run around. But you don't have to run around to become a better tennis player. You don't even have to be on the court to be a better tennis player. The idea that you can close your eyes, kind of play out a tennis match in your head, and over time, if you do that, you will actually be better when you get on the court the next time and thereafter. So. What I would suggest you do is you close your eyes, get into a comfortable position, close your eyes and spin the racket, win the toss, get on the court in your head, play out a bunch of points. Really a whole set would be great. 15 love, 30 love, 30 15, because you may not win every point. 40 15, game. See yourself hitting great serves, hitting great returns, being consistent getting to the net when it's appropriate. And if you do this, you'll find that when you get back on the court, who knows when that will be, but when we do, you will be better because of it. I know that I've played my best tennis when I have done this before matches, and I know that skiers pretty much always do this before they take their run. Ski racers will, um, you'll see them go like this and go through each gate so they can kind of get a sense of what they need to do. Uh, I am reminded of a story that I heard moons ago about a golfer who was in jail for some time and was visualizing their golf game and trying to play a lot of golf while they were in jail in their mind. And when they got out, they, this guy uh, had his best round ever. Lastly, you can see I have this gross beard here. Um, my family really wants me to shave it off. They're disgusted by it. but. I need you guys to help me. So look at my first video, and if you can do the task that I'm asking you to do in that video, which is basically juggling two balls with one hand for 30 seconds without dropping them, send me that video, and I will shave for the next video. Until then, be safe, and we'll see you soon on the courts, I hope.